Okay, right now I'm going to explain you the atmosphere panel, which is over here. There's a lot of settings here, but I'll try to explain them one by one. So we start with post-processing, which is the HDR, the High Dynamic Range Lightning, Lighting. Sorry. You can leave this on or off, you can choose, I guess you can just leave it on. You have some settings here. I, I suggest you play around with the settings a bit to see what they exactly do. So you have the bloom, which blooms, which gives you a bloom effect. Don't know how I can show that. You can see that light bulb, I guess. And then you have ambient occlusion, which happens in corners, right here. So if I turn that off, you see some changes. Let's leave it on. And then there are some settings for that. You have the vignette, which is the black border around the screen. Lens flares, but yeah, you're going to have to play around with those settings. And then you have color. These uh, sliders just change the contrast. You can play around with them. There's a technical explanation for all this, but you know, it's more like a visual. Uh, if it looks nice, it's fine. Okay, you can change the source color and the target color. So imagine you want to re change all the greens with red, with blues. See, it's already. You can create uh, special kind of effects. But I'm going to leave them on white for now. You have the fog. You can turn it on and off. So now it's on. And you have the settings. You can change the color. You have a near distance, which is like fog closer. And then far, which, you know, puts the fog further away. You also have height fog, which is a fog that works in height. So if you have like you're on top of a mountain and you want to change the fog, let's say height fog, you have to find out what the exact height is of the fog. Let's say five. So there's a height somewhere where the where it stops. See, so I'm too high now. I have, guess I have to go to uh, zero twenty or something. Or minus. Okay, but you get the idea. You can have height fog. I really would like to find the right setting. Yeah, like this. So you can stand on a mountain, have the near distance to zero, intensity to 10 maybe, and then you get this effect like see here. You can also change color, of course to make some like poisonous environments. Okay, I'll turn it off. Then you have the sun. You have sun color, specular color, you have ambient colors, you have shadows. You have different settings for the shadows, but they more or less explain what they do.